Today, most of us rely entirely on computers, cell phones, and tablets to record what we need to remember. But our memory still holds the key to molding our own personalities, relationships, or how well we do at work or school. It's a good idea to get better at remembering. Quick memory test. What was the name of the two books I just held up? Good job if you remember. As you are starting to see, your memory has a lot to do with what you choose to focus on. But now, we're about to show you how your brain can sometimes remember things that didn't even happen. You'll find out in this game, sometimes your memory can trick you. In order to perform in a live audience, stage actors are often required to memorize pages and pages of dialogues. To remember or not to remember? That is the question. But in this game, you don't have to remember any lines. You just need to pay attention to the actor's lines. People, this show is about to begin. Our troop of actors is about to perform a short play. Listen closely because afterwards, we're gonna ask you about what you've heard. In the play, our memories begin. Did you ever charm to see my gift basket? Was it the one containing the little strawberries? I laughed at juicy olives pearl as well. Did it also have an apple and a cherry? Yes, for me the cabbage and rib, melons too. But not a fish about this time. Not yet one. Now listen as we read off a list of words. Play along and raise your hand when you recognize a word from play. How many of you heard the word orange? How many of you remember the word banana? Who remembers hearing the word fruit? And who remembers hearing the word apple? Do you agree that the words orange, banana, fruit, and apple were spoken during the play? Well, I have the best of news and the worst of news. You have heard the words apple, orange, and banana. You have excellent memories. But if you remember hearing the word fruit, I'm afraid you're hearing things. And that's the word fruit was never uttered upon our stage. But it is in your ears that are today. It is your brain. What about you at home? Are you also hearing things? But if you look at our actor's script, you'll see that the word fruit is nowhere to be found. But don't be alarmed if you heard the word fruit. Most of the people did too. So what's going on here? Our memories are arranged in the kind of network in our brains. So that captivating anyone's memory also activates others that are associated with you. Our memories are arranged in the kind of network all the different kinds of food that were mentioned were associated with the word fruit. Strawberries, olives, apples, cherry, cabbage, banana, melons. So, every time you hear the word, fruit was also activated. With indirect activation like this, the word fruit seems so familiar to you. Maybe you end up with a false memory having heard. While your memory may have just let you down, the cool thing is, it's always hard at work, even when you're not aware of it. Have you ever walked into another room just to forget what it is you came in for? According to research, doorway acts as a signal to your brain that you're in a new context, causing you to wipe your mind clear. Best way to avoid this mind erase is to repeat what it is you want to remember as you walk through the doorway, causing you to anchor your memory in the new room. For instance, keys. Oh, found it.